find ways to attack the problem from many angles, right? Maybe you start with that triplet shimmy, maybe you don't. Maybe you do the hip slide and the, and the grapevine, or maybe you do the triplet shimmy and the grapevine, but not the hip slide. Hey there, fabulous dancer, and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am so glad that you are joining me here today. And if you've been here before, Welcome back. It's awesome to dance with you again. In today's video, we are going to be doing an intermediate to advanced layering tutorial. So grab your hip scarf and let's get ready. My name is Sahira and I'm here to teach you the beautiful art of belly dance. If you are enjoying these free belly dance classes, be sure to like this video and subscribe so that I can send you fantastic belly dance content every single week. Now let's hit the dance floor. Alrighty folks, so this is an intermediate to advanced level tutorial today. So it's gonna be coming at you fast. You're gonna to need to know three different movements that we are going to layer together into a fabulously challenging little combination. We are gonna be working with the triplet shimmy, the hip slide, and a grapevine step. If any of these are unfamiliar to you, you can find tutorials for all of them here on my YouTube channel. So be sure to check them, get familiar. I'm gonna take you through a quick run through of those three elements right now, and then we're gonna pair them together. So let's do it. All right, so let's start with the triplet shimmy. This is one of my absolute favorite shimmies and a fantastic shimmy to travel with. So it's gonna work really well in our combination today. The triplet shimmy is a double bump weighted on one side and then on the other with no pause in between. Your weight is gonna shift from the right to the left and you're gonna hold your weight there as you do each bump. Two bumps on the right, two bumps on the left, shift weight right, shift weight left. It's really driven from the knees. Right, so you don't have to do a lot of oblique work. You don't have to do a lot with your glutes. We're gonna think mostly knees, right? Using those leg muscles to create this movement. So it is triple it, triple it, up, down, up, up, down, up. Yeah, you can take this right underneath you. I'm shifting my weight side to side a bunch so you can really see what's going on. Let's speed it up, triple it, triple it, double on the right, double on the left. As you do this, obviously you're using the step with the first bump to help the hip come up, and then that second bump is just coming from the knee, bending to go back down, and then straightening but never locking to come back up. As you practice this, especially if you've done it before and you're wanting to hone in on your technique, I want you to make sure that both bumps are about even, right? So there's not one that's really big and one that's smaller. And the other thing I would like you to focus on is making sure that this entire movement has no pause in it, right? So I really want you to think up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, and there's no fast movement in a pause, right? Sometimes this happens where this movement becomes kind of a twitch, 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 and I don't want you to do it there. I want you to keep relaxed. I want you to have all the time in the world to create this because we are going to speed it up a little bit and you'll want all that extra time, right? So if we speed it up a little, right and right, left and left, right and right, left and left, really using the knees, really using the floor. You see, I'm continuing to step with my feet and I invite you to do the same. Step with your feet so that you can match this shimmy to your step because we're gonna layer it with a step so that'll make it a little bit easier later, right? So if I were to take this and kind of distill it down to the big picture of what's going on, I'm doing a single weighted bump as I travel, right? But then I'm putting an extra bump in there just by bending the knee and then straightening it again. Triple it, 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 yeah? Let's do four more. Three, two, one, and pause triple it shimmy, right, in like one minute. <laughs> That's a tough move, that one took me several years to get, but there it is, in one minute. Now, we're gonna be looking at layering a little bit of a slide on top of this movement. So we're just looking at that horizontal hip slide, side to side. It's gonna be a small slide because we're gonna to continue to do that triplet shimmy, so you can't make the slide too big. But what I want you to think of is as you step on the right, you're gonna slide your hip to the right a little bit and do that double bump there. And then as you step on the left, the hip slides to the left a little bit and you do the double bump there. So double bump right, double bump left. One, two, three, one, two, three, or triple it, triple it. So what's happening is you're just getting that tiny little bit of a slide to the side, right? To the right when you do the right side, to the left when you do the left side. So you can think about just kind of sticking your hip out a little bit in the direction that you're going. It almost feels like it has a nice little sway or a nice little swing to it. Yeah, side to side. 
right and right, left and left, right and right, left and left. And you can take your time with that slide. It's not that you have to get all the way out to the side and then do both, right? You can do that slide as you're doing the movement. So nothing feels rushed, right? We're gonna layer a bunch of stuff on top of each other. The last thing we need is to feel rushed on top of it. So take your time and think about that slide progressing as you do the triplet shimmy, as opposed to having to get to the side before you start your triplet shimmy, if that makes sense, yeah? Make sure you're breathing. Feet are still stepping because we're gonna add travel in just a second, right? One and two, one and two, triple it, triple it, left and left, right and right, left and left, right and right, four and three and two and one. Excellent, okay. We've got our triplet shimmy, we've got our slide. The next thing we're gonna add on top of this is a little bit of traveling. To build us up to it, I want you to just think about forward and back on the right for now, and then we'll do the left. So we're gonna do our triplet shimmy stepping just like we were, but now our step is gonna go a little forward and back. Here's a little tip. To make things easier as you start to travel, keep that step really small. Keep those feet right underneath you. We're not gonna win any races with this movement anyway, so don't try to go too far with it. And then you wanna think about staying right over the top of your feet. So if you see me from the side here, I am on top of my feet. Resist the temptation to kind of like stick the leg out there, but not move the body, right? Because you're gonna be utilizing the weight, utilizing the floor to create that shimmy. So you wanna be right on top of the feet at all times, yeah? So if you remember, we were doing a slide on this. Slide right, slide left, slide right, slide left. Uh-huh. Slide right, slide left, slide right, slide left. Yes, okay. So the last little bit we're gonna add on to this is instead of taking this movement straight forward and back, I want to turn it into a tiny bit of a grapevine. In order to make it successful, you're gonna not want to cross your feet too, too much because that makes it a little bit more challenging, right? So I'm gonna slow this down. If I was gonna take it as a grapevine, we're gonna cross over with the right to the left. So travel to the left and it's gonna happen here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Here's the trick with your grapevine. Like I mentioned, don't do this, right? Don't make the cross big because it's really hard to shimmy your hips when your legs are crossed that way. Most of your travel is gonna happen on the open. So it's a tiny little step, perhaps slightly in front, pretty nice size step open. Tiny step, maybe slightly right behind, nice step open. So you get that grapevine feeling without having to do a large crossover. Yeah, let's try that one more time and then we have to do it on the other side, yeah? So I'm gonna scoot over here so we have more space. If we start it here front and back with our slide, slide, and now here we go. Little step, bigger step, little step. Bigger step, big on the open, small on the cross. And pause, let's try the other side. Exact same thing, left side leads, right? So now the left is going front and back, double bump on every hip, double bump left, then right, then left, then right, as even as possible. It's a triplet, right? It's not a three quarter, there's no pause in it, right? It's even the whole time, so we're going, Triple it, triple it, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Yes. So you've got that triplet shimmy going. Remember, we layer the, the slide on it, right? And if this is challenging, you can always take pieces off. Maybe you do just the triplet shimmy without the slide, and you play with that and put that on the grapevine, and then later work the slide in. Choose your own adventure. Think of each layering piece as like a building block, and you can kind of choose how you build your house, yeah? So we're doing left, right, left. Right, now I'm gonna slow it down. If I take it now, I have to scoot over to the left so I can go to the right. Yeah, I'm gonna cross over with the left, very small. Small cross, open, small cross, open, small cross, open, small cross, open, small cross, open. Ha ha, same thing when we go to the right. This is tiny, maybe right in front. I don't even think I like actually cross my feet. I think I just come slightly in front, open it up, slightly behind, open it up. You'll still travel, but you don't end up in this position where you can't really do anything with your hips. Now yeah, let's do it one more time, going to the right, and then I'll show you how we're going to put it all together. So we're going left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Now let's go ahead and travel on five, six, crossing with the left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, 
right, left, right, left. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So as you practice this and take this as like a, a, a nugget of information that will help you tackle layering challenges more easily, no matter what you're learning and where you're learning it. Think about all of these pieces that, as individual pieces, right? So we have our triplet shimmy, we have our slide, and we have our grapevine. All three of these are being added on top of each other. Find which thing is your, is your kryptonite, right? Like for a lot of people, it's that triplet shimmy, right? You have to have that for, in order to make it work. And if you don't have the triplet shimmy, really work on that first. And then play with the other elements. Or say that triplet shimmy, you're just like, not today, it's not happening. What if you took the slide and the grapevine, right? You could take those two Lego building blocks and build a slightly different house with this idea, right? And you could play with this layer as well, which is kind of fun, right? So find ways to attack the problem from many angles, right? Maybe you start with that triplet shimmy, maybe you don't. Maybe you do the hip slide and the, and the grapevine, or maybe you do the triplet shimmy and the grapevine, but not the hip slide. That way you can play with it from many angles and eventually build it with confidence and not feel like you're banging your head into the wall, yeah? Okay, so now let me show you how we're gonna put it all together into a cute little combination so that we can drill it over and over side to side. We're gonna do about eight counts in each direction if you have the space to do that. And so let's say we're starting to the left, which means the right foot is crossing over the hip slide and the shimmy is starting on the right side. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is just gonna be a little touch, maybe a lift so that you can set yourself up so the left foot is free so we're able to go the other way, always crossing forward first. So we're crossing left, doing the shimmy with the left, sliding to the left as we go to the right. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on seven, if you don't do the full shimmy, in order to give yourself time to prepare, that's totally an option to just end up with a hip bump or a full shimmy, you play with it. Eight is that little lift and you're set to start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, this is making sense. Arms are dancer's choice. Yeah, if you can move your arms, go for it or you can just, you know, hold them wherever you need to so that you can focus on everything else that's happening. Yeah? All right, let's go ahead and try it with music. All right, take a deep breath up. Scoot over to the right, because we're gonna go to the left. Here we go, on five, six, here we go. It's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, touch, left, go left, right, left, right, left, right, left touch, right. Try to keep those hips loose and relaxed. Take all the time for the shimmy. Do not rush through this. It's already fast enough, yeah? Hips are wobbly, knees are driving. Keeping the cross nice and small. You wanna add arms? Or different arms, yeah? Have fun with it, yeah? Let's do it one more time. and strike your pose. Whew, that was a doozy, yes? Awesome work, how did that go? No matter how it went, congratulations for getting through <laughs> the tutorial, yeah? It's a challenge and I think what's so fascinating is all of those pieces could be something that you can easily do on a regular given day, but you put them all together and it's a little bit of this going on, right? So this is what I encourage you to do. Continue to work those parts individually. Continue to attack it from different angles and feel free to make it your own. Always find your level of challenge, right? If it's the three pieces together is just too much, take two and play with it and then change which two you, you play with and see what happens, right? You can do it stationary. You can do it without the slide. You can even take off the shimmy, but the shimmy is kind of my favorite part of it. And then if for some reason you're like, oh yeah, I got that. Let's make it more challenging. Then absolutely add some arms 
try to add some turning in there. There's so many different ways you can texturize it to work for your practice. And then I challenge you to put it into your dance this week. When a song comes on, maybe you're practicing a choreography, maybe you're creating a choreography, maybe you're improvising to music. Can you throw that in there somewhere so that it really complements the music you're dancing to? And then post below and let me know what was the most challenging part of this tutorial and what are you excited to work on next? I love the opportunity to dance with you. Thank you so much for joining me here and I look forward to sharing the dance floor with you again soon.